Hello guys, Bloodbearer 115 here coming today with my rankings of each DLC one Call of Duty Zombies map. And before we actually really start things and get completely into it, I just want to say happy Martin Luther King Day to everyone. A happy Rusev Day to all of my wrestling fans out there and a happy 115 day to all of my zombie fans out there. Now let's jump into these rankings. Six. Starting off at number six, we have Outbreak from Advanced Warfare, which was the first Exo Zombies map. It's really could have been higher on this list if it wasn't for nostalgic reasons. It, nostalgia plays into a lot of the maps in DLC 1 here because I love a lot of the DLC 1 maps, but Outbreak just wasn't a strong enough map to break through my nostalgia, and in all honesty, it probably could be a few stages higher if it wasn't for my nostalgia. Five. Now we go on to Die Rise, which Originally, when I wrote this list, it was a bit higher. It was actually third place when I originally wrote it, but then there were a few things that really made me change my mind, which I'll get to when I get to the maps in number four and third place. But this map, I really enjoyed camping and training on it. It was still a campable map, but uh, training, I, re I really grew into training on this map. I started to really love training. I love the strategy in the uh, the one room where there used to be a glitch that you could just sit on the pole and not have to move in that room where you run around the entire room having an AK-74U, a KN-44. I just loved using those two weapons in this map. It was just so very much fun. Most people hate the elevator system, but I really enjoyed it. Not to mention it also had two separate Easter eggs that you could have done, and they were both pretty cool. In all honesty, they were both really cool Easter eggs. Four. Now we have Verruckt. Originally, Verruckt was actually going to be the last one on the list here because I think the World at War mechanics are very clunky, especially in Verruckt. I was never a huge fan of the World at War version, except for this this one reason, which what is what put it up into fourth place. The glitch that you can get unlimited guns is so very much fun in the World at War games. You can do it in any of the maps except for Nocturne and Toten. And the version in Dare East, you have to do it slightly differently, but you can still get unlimited guns. However, in Vruct, it was always so much fun to go to the Quick Revive machine and just drop a Betty, switch real quick, buy a new gun. It was awesome to just have unlimited guns on Vruct, because it was such a hard map back then. Three! Now this one's going to be a little bit controversial, because I... I love this map, but I hate this map at the same time. It really only makes it up to third place because I am such a Kevin Smith mark. I love Kevin Smith. He is my dude. If, you, if I had a celebrity crush, he would be it. I love that fat fucker. Even though he lost a lot of weight, and I think he shaved his beard that one time. He looked really fucking weird, but... Uh, yeah, I love everything he's done, so him being in this map just really just... Set it up to be higher on this list. Even though I don't like some parts of the map, some things I could live without, but... Kevin Smith really is what makes this so high on the list. Which is what pushed Die Rise down the list, because originally Die Rise was in this spot. Two! Now here we have what once was my favorite map of all time until Dare Ice and Drac came out, Ascension. I always loved this map so very much. It was amazing to run around the lander with a thunder gun and a ray gun. PhD Flopper was at its prime in that map where you could dolphin dive down the stairs at that same lander. It was just amazing. Uh, just, oh, I loved the monkeys, even though they get very annoying when they steal your perks, but it's a really awesome concept that they worked with. The Easter egg on there, the Casimir mechanism, it's the very first main quest Easter egg as we now know them today. It is amazing what, the, what Ascension did for the zombies community. There are so many awesome things that it did. The Thunder Gun, Stamina Up, PhD Flopper, main quest Easter egg, which led into, I guess, Moon's eventual Easter egg because without Casimir mechanism, it wouldn't have made as much sense because you use the Casimir mechanism within Moon, but they could have changed that, but still. Ascension, extremely important for the zombie storyline and its mechanics. One! And now here we have the obvious first place, Dreisendrak. How could I have this list and not have Dreisendrak at first? It is personally my favorite zombies map of all time now. What once was held by Ascension and then later Moon, but now Dreisendrak. Dreisendrak is my favorite map because of the bows. The bows are an amazing wonder weapon. The dragons with which you get them from, even though it's a copy of the Hellhounds from Mob of the Dead, it's still really cool and I, I love dragons. I love the name of it, Dreisendrak, the Iron Dragon. It's awesome. The Easter Egg is friggin' crazy. It had the first ever boss fight. Ooh. I mean, you could say Shadow Man was a boss fight in Shadows of Evil, but it's it's different. It's a different kind of boss. Fighting the Giant Keeper really feels different from fighting the Shadow Man. It's a true boss fight, and it is awesome to do it. And the map itself, the layout is amazing. It calls back to Moon. Amazing. That map did no wrong. 
And there you guys have it, my list of the top six, because there are only six, DLC 1 Zombies maps from Call of Duty. And uh, I think I have a pretty solid list there. I think most people would agree with a majority of my list, probably putting Rave lower and putting Verrucked up a bit higher and possibly Outbreak above Die Rise as a general community con consensus, because a lot of people hate Die Rise for the elevator system, but I think my list does the community some justice. So guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for all the good shit, hit the notification bell, so you're streaming up below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. A peace.